Well, we're going to go ahead and create a S3 uh, website using um, Amazon Learner Lab. So this is, once again, it's the associate level. I expect that you should be able to do this in both levels, um, but uh, I, I'm going to plan on doing almost all my videos in the associate level because I expect it has a little more access. Um, so just uh, a little heads up, I've already done this in um, the sandbox environments. So for the sandbox environment, um, I have a video here. I'll link it down below uh, on how to do it. So most of the Amazon labs have a sandbox environment. So that sandbox environment, you can um, go ahead and do all sorts of fun stuff with. Okay. But uh, I've had this going for a while now. I actually got pulled away in a meeting, which is good. Um, I haven't really done anything with this lab other than start it, but it's been running for 159 minutes. Uh, it has remaining 82 minutes. That's so it's a four hour section uh, session. So uh, this uh, use stuff only gets updated every eight to 12 hours. So you can't rely on that. Um, so if someone, if someone starts a bunch of, of machine learning or uh, data mining type, uh, instances you could burn through it in, in no time so uh, make sure that you uh, encourage people to shut things down but it, s3 is like pennies so we'll go ahead and do that so we need to go to AWS and it's going to open up the console here and if you see there's actually a Volcrum uh, labs and the user so then this changes um, so we're here in AWS cool so uh, I've used s3 so there's lots of ways to do this um, I'm not gonna go into details to what I'm doing because um, there's the other s3 video um, I'll just talk through a few things so but uh, the other uh, s3 web hosting video is one that you should watch if you want to get more detail um, so for the most part, I'm just going to make sure that you can do it in this new account. And um, I'm going to see what happens when I shut down uh, the lab. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an S3 bucket. So create a bucket. And we're just going to call this. So I like to put um, kind of my initials, uh, what class I'm doing it for. So IT240 which is our web design class um, test website. So this needs to be unique. Um, so once again, more information is in the other video. Um, this is mostly to, to show what kind of happens after. So um, and this is going to be a public access. Yes, I acknowledge that it's that uh, people can see it. Um, and I think that's all we need here. Create bucket. So I'm going to come here to this bucket and I'm going to go to properties or permissions. We'll try and remember which one. It looks like it's not properties. I think it's permissions. This is where you say this is going to be, oh no, properties, a, a website, but they have changed. So that's one of the cool things about AWS is it's constantly changing. So, oh, static web hosting is down here. Uh, so I'm going to edit. In the past, it was a bunch of boxes. Um, the CLI, that's one of the cool things about using the CLI. The CLI doesn't change as much as the web GUI does. Uh, so I'm going to enable web hosting, host website, um, index. I'll just leave it at index.html. Um, error.html, I won't have any extra rules, save changes. So we should have a static website. Let me grab a index. Give me just a sec. So we're going to go to objects and then we're going to upload a file and I have, let's see, Add files. Uh, we're going to go to downloads. And let's grab this first page.
that'll be good enough. So it's not called index.html, so it's not going to automatically show up. Um, but that's okay. So if I click this first page, the HTML, it's going to take me to the object, and I should be able to get the um, web resource URL. So here's the object URL, and I should be able to just click on this, and it shows up, but it's access denied. So give me just a second. I forgot that oftentimes the objects, let's go back, close. If I remember right, the objects that you upload themselves don't have the public permissions by default. Object owner, but everyone public access doesn't have read. So let's give this read. And I understand I'm making changes to this object. So uh, I there was a setting before that you could have them default to it, but uh, Amazon's been trying to uh, lock that down more. So here it is. So this is on uh, live uh, on the internet right now. Um, I just want to control shift N, open an incognito window uh, to show you that I can get there without being logged in. So it's a, a standard web page. This is just a web page that I use for the first day of web design class uh, to get people to edit um, and stuff. And then they eventually put it online uh, that night uh, or the second day. So uh, that's working. Now, what we want to try is let's shut this down. Let's end the lab. So end, ending the lab should um, It'll shut down our EC2 instances and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I want to end the lab. But I'm expecting it's going to leave my, um, it's going to leave my S3 stuff there. Okay. So if I look at AWS detail, so started, it did stop. It says it stopped. Um, so if we come here and we hit enter, it's still there. Come back here, we hit enter, it's still there. So I'm gonna pause the video for about five minutes just to make sure it's really gone. Um, and then we'll try it again. And if it is, then this is uh, very much a, still gonna be able to be used as a way for students to host web pages uh, because it's gonna stay around when um, their learning lab is shut down. At least that's what I'm expecting. So I'm going to pause this for about five minutes and we'll come back. Okay, it's been a little over five minutes. We're going to close this window um, just so you can see. Uh, if we click on AWS details again, this should be, well, I guess it's just clicking away. Um, so we, let's see right here, copy. I'll just refresh it here. I look to control shift N and in an incognito window, we're still there. Woohoo! So um, this is great. Now, it, it is a pain in a web design class to have to log in each time. So uh, one of the things I'll look at to, to extend this in the future is creating a Lambda to be able to upload um, documents and probably just have a little uh, key that you'd have to put in to upload it, almost like a password. Um, and then you could just upload the documents um, through the through a lambda uh, with a with a, a URL um, gateway endpoint. So um, so we've got that web page through the uh, Learner Lab, and it's still available even though um, the Learner Lab was stopped um, over five minutes ago. So anyway. Uh, I hope that uh, you'll enjoy this. We'll keep uh, playing around and learning with this so that we can uh, use it, it the same way or, in, or slightly different that we used um, AWS Educate 
in our classes that were not as cloud focused. Um, so I, I like to bring cloud into as many classes as I can. Like I mentioned, this is uh, specifically this we, we do in web design. I also do stuff like this in our system administration classes that are mostly Linux focused. Um, so this is a, a good day. So thank you.